In this video, I'm going to show you one of the funniest and most creative series of chess studies I've ever seen. The series of positions I'm about to show you are composed by Sam Lloyd, who is one of my favorite chess composers. He's very creative, very meticulous. I think in my humble opinion, he's probably one of the best composers of all time. And um, as I said at the beginning, there's a funny story behind it, attached to, to these positions. So let me tell you a little bit about that. Sam Lloyd writes, in 1713, Turkey and Sweden were in war. King Charles XII, who was king of Sweden back then, was in a bunker in the middle of the battlefield, playing chess with a war general to kill time. They were planning their next attack, and in order to just have a little bit of fun in the meantime, they decided to play a game of chess. They reached the position you see on screen. So with the white pieces, we have King Charles XII, and with the black pieces, we have the war general. In this position, King Charles said, I announce mate in three. So pause the video, try to find checkmate in three. It has to be forced, of course, so take your time. King Charles was planning to play rook take g3. You really have to take that rook. If you don't take that rook, for example, this, there's this other checkmate in three. So black takes that. And after this, white just have to make a waiting move, which is knight f3, preventing the black king to come to h4, and black doesn't have anything but to move this bishop. You can't move this pawn, you can't move this king. So let's say black takes on h2, and g4 is check mate. So that was a nice plan, that's all true. But before, or uh, just before the king was about to move, make a move, a bullet came through the window of the bunker. What a bad idea to have a window in a bunker and knocked off the knight of the table, of the board. And where the war, general, the war general was going to pick it up, but King Charles said, ah, don't worry, you can have the knight, don't worry. And in this position, he said, I announce not checkmate in three anymore, checkmate in four. So once again, pause the video, try to find forced checkmate in four. So once again, King Charles was planning to take this pawn, h takes g3. Um, yeah, you let's say black plays bishop e3. If you take this, of course, rook h3 is going to be checkmate next move. So bishop e3, let's say, rook g4. And after bishop g5, there's this beautiful idea. Rook h4, bishop takes h4, g4 mate. You need this bishop on h4 to block the black king in order to, to checkmate the black king. So this is a beautiful checkmate in four. But once again, before the, the king was going to make that move, just before that, another bullet came through the window and knocked off the pawn on h2. War general, being a nice guy, tried to pick up that pawn. But once again, King Charles said, you know what, you can also have the pawn. And in this position, he said, for the last time this time, I announce not checkmate in three, nor in four, I announce checkmate in 5. Pause the video, try to find forced checkmate in 5. So this time, the king did manage to play rook b7. This is the first move. Not rook d7. Rook d7 runs into a trick, bishop d4, which is also winning for white, but it's not checkmate in, in 5 anymore. It's going, to, it's going to delay it if you take this as stalemate. So rook b7, let's say black plays bishop e3. Rook b1, threatening rook h1. That's why black prevents it. But here comes the beautiful rook h1, bishop h4. And now you see that black would be in stalemate if it was black to play again. So white gives black a legal move. Rook h2, there's nothing black can do other than take the rook. That's the only move. And g4 is checkmate. That's forced checkmate in 5. And that's where the story ends. But the reason why I'm showing you this other than this is beautiful and hilarious at the same time, is that Sam Lloyd, the reason why he's also one of my favorite chess composers, Sam Lloyd included a little bit of an easter egg within these positions. And that easter egg is that, do you remember this initial position? He hid a checkmate in 6. We have a checkmate in 3, a checkmate in 4, and a checkmate in 5, but he hid within these positions a checkmate in 6. And that hidden checkmate in six is 
in the case that the bullet, instead of knocking off the knight, had knocked off the rook. So in this position, pause the video for the last time. Try to find forced checkmate in six. Okay, so in this position, knight f3 has to be played. Black, well, okay, black, if this, is, this is checkmate right away. So black has to do something. Bishop e1 is a good idea. If you move the bishop anywhere else, h takes g3 and g4 once again is a problem. So bishop e1, knight takes e1, king h4, h3, and there's nothing black can do after this. The knight comes to this spot. The only move for black is h5, and black goes for it. And here you see knight g6, forced checkmate in 6. Hope you enjoyed that. I thought it would be very funny to include this. It's very entertaining. I hope it brought as much joy as it did to me when someone first introduced me to this uh, story and chess studies with it. And uh, yeah, if you want to support this channel, if you enjoyed it, subscribe, give a like. I would really appreciate it. It really keeps me going with these videos. And yeah, thank you for watching. Have a nice day.